looking across the stage on Pinterest and it, the the layout looks very smooth and good, nice, I guess. So I told myself why not code it and add it to my collections on YouTube. So this is what we're going to be coding now and hopefully we learn something new. And I did add some um, keyframes, sorry, animations using keyframes. So I'm going to refresh the page and hopefully um, it works. There you go. So um, I guess it's not very complicated, just bare basic. So let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, so here is the, um, of, of, a, of a picture of uh, here is what we're gonna build the design, and we're gonna um, I'm gonna minimize it. I'm gonna like shift it to the side so we can see. As you can see, we have the um, everything is set now. So let's get to work. I'm gonna do the header at once, and in the header, I'm gonna create a left column. Basically, I'm gonna create two columns, left and right. And in the left column, I'm going to add a logo container. And in the logo container, I'm going to add an image inside. Oops. And the image is going to be a greater than sign. And I'm going to add an H1 as well. Make sure to give both um, selectors a class. The H1 is going to have a class of uh, logo text. All right, we're done. Now let's move to the next section called presentation, where we're going to put um, the text, what you see. And inside presentation, I'm going to create another div called intro text. And I'm going to put inside here and I'm going to put an H1, Gabe, and a paragraph of 20 words, 20 random words. And if you want to generate 20 random words, just type lorem, the number of words, 20. And there you go. And the next section is going to be the social. where you have um i don't really know why i call this social because there's nothing social about it it's not like the social media section or something i'm i'm gonna add um five images inside of here and inside the social i created is an, an image box so i'll be able to um, flex them inside the social and maintain a, a certain amount of space I cloned each image and we're gonna change each image to dot and full dot. And the last one is gonna be arrow right. And after this, I'm gonna create a span to put in a word called Nuevo, which is new. Um, okay, boom. So basically we're done with the, um, the left column. So I'm gonna go straight to the right column. So um, everything is done. So, Let's go stretch the right column and we're going to create another div inside of here called the right side. And I'm going to create another div called rotate. And I'm going to place an image inside of rotate with two um, links, anchor tags, anchor tag. An image called... Um, yeah play button with 
an aqua tag, a link, a dead link. It's gonna be face. Is it Facebook or Twitter? I'm gonna put um, three of them Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Gonna change the second one to Twitter. Um, yeah, Twitter. The third one is gonna be Instagram. And I'm gonna add another image. At the end of it, a search image. The search icon image, sorry. And I think that's all for now. I'm gonna leave an empty image tag and we'll get to it later. And I'll tell you why I left it empty. But I'm gonna comment it out. I'm not gonna put nothing, so I'm just gonna comment it out. Okay. Uh, save and boom. It looks mad ugly, right? <laughs> I know. I know, trust me. All right, now let's go to CSS and beautify the page. Because it looks mad ugly. I can't stand it. Uh, I think everything is done correctly. Trying to check. Um, okay. All right. All right. Let's start with the header. Give it a, a width of um hundred percent, like always. And let's give it a height of one hundred view height, which is basically what you see on your screen, the entire screen in terms of height. I'm gonna give it a display of flex to be able to flex the items inside and move it freely. So now let's get to the left column. I'm gonna give it one point flex of 1.5, which is a bit more than one because I'm gonna give the right one. But I want the left, uh, I need it to be slightly bigger than the right. So I add, I never gave both one one each i give the left 1.5 and the right one i'm gonna push this down and now let's get to the logo container mm. uh, yeah logo it's called logo container is it okay logo container image let's reduce this um greater than sign we see on the screen and boom there you go everything is perfect a little like one percent perfect okay um yep all right now let's um style the logo container itself we're gonna give it a, um, a display of flex i'm gonna justify it flex start flex start and I'm gonna align each um, items in it. You basically have just two items. I'm gonna align them center. And I'm gonna give it a padding of um, two rems will be fine. Uh, okay, it looks a bit, uh, I don't know. Um, anyways, all right, let's tell the logo text, the class of the room of the word Rema. I give the word Rema a class, if I'm not mistaken. I think I give the word Rema a class, the each one, I give it a class of a uh, logo text. Is it? Wait. Wait. Is it logo text? Boom. Yup. Got it. Okay. Uh. And I think it's logo text. Yup. Logo text. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna code it anyway. Text transform to uppercase. I'm gonna reduce the font size to one rem. And I'm gonna give it a pattern left of one rem. And uh, okay, uh, yep, it looks decent to an extent. <laughs> Get my flow. Okay, I think that's more all about the navigation. So let's move to the presentation, guys. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna give it in um, the present presentation. A padding of two rem and a margin top of five rems. And the next is gonna be um, the intro text. I'm not gonna put anything inside for now. I'm gonna go to the intro text H1. Let's tell the each one the Gabe. Let's tell the word Gabe on the screen. Okay, um, a text transform will be good to capitalize just the first letter of the word Gabe. Uh, font weight. A font size. Of three rem, I think it's gonna be uh, good enough. And imagine bottom, a bit of space downward, of one rem. Let's save this. Uh, okay, it makes sense. I feel. Mm, yeah. Uh, yup. Got it. Looks perfect. Let's go to intro text P tag. Let's select the the paragraph. We're gonna give it a width of fifty percent. We're gonna give it a, a font size of um point eighty rem. We're gonna reduce the opacity, make it a bit um trans not transparent, but less um back with a line height of 1.7 let's save this i'm sure it's gonna make sense um, okay uh, yep i think it makes a bit sense so uh okay Okay, um, yep, it looks alike. It doesn't look like, I mean, it, it's similar. All right, let's get the, the social div. We're gonna give it a width of 40%. A position, absolute. Bottom, 10%. And a display of flex. Okay, so this one right here. There you go. Okay. Now let's get this pan. Margin left auto. A text transform to capitalize. A font weight of about 500. 
a font size of about 0.8 rem. I know letter space is not two pixels. To save this, we have something, I guess, a bit decent to an extent. Okay. I'm just going to reduce the social image. It looks a bit too big for me. Both 20, 15 pixel height. Sorry. Um, save and boom. It looks way better. Um, I think that's all for the right si for the left side. Sorry, for the left side more or less. I think that's all. So um, now I think we're gonna jump straight to the right side. Um, yep. I'm gonna comment this so it's gonna make your work look neat like the right the section couldn't we come and make um basically make someone's work look organized and neat and arranged so I like trying to keep that practice okay and um okay for the right column uh what we're gonna do here i'm gonna give the display of flex so so i can move the other the other div inside itself i'm gonna give it the justify content flex start and what else background to this color i had it uh, written down so i had to look and Type it. It's not off the, the dome. It's not off my head. So there you go. That's it. That's it right there. Okay. All right. Where are we? Okay, let's get the, the right side and the rotate. The right side, we're going to give it a width of 20%. Okay, I And background color of these, I wrote it down somewhere. FFZ1. 7c and i'm gonna give it a position of absolute sorry relative so i can move things inside of itself of 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 itself does that make sense i'm gonna move things inside the right side so it has to have a position of absolute of relative so now let's uh i think wait is it relative yeah Okay, let's get rotate down. I'm gonna reduce this huge images now because it's so annoying. And boom, there we go. Done. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, it has to be on the right side though. Why is it on the left side? That's weird. Um, wait. It has to be on the right. Sheesh. Um, wait, what's going on? Um, Wait, I think I've made an error somewhere. Um, wait.
right. Let me check something. I'm just gonna code the whole div and then try to um, figure out why it's on the left side. I'm gonna give this a width of um, 600 pixels. I'm gonna give this a position of absolute as well. I'm gonna give the right negative 250 pixels, so it's gonna be in the center. And I'm gonna give it a bottom of 350 pixels. And we're gonna do transform rotate to flip it negative 90 degrees. And uh, I'm gonna display it flex. Align everything in the center. justify everything space between let me save this and let's see what happens uh, but yeah I mean it has to be on the right side but it's stuck on the left side so I'm, I don't get it like I think I've misspelled uh, something oh boy uh, I'm gonna comment this out. Let me see. Um, wait, it disappeared completely. Okay, I'm gonna uncomment this. Uh, um, damn. I mean, I have everything correct. I, I think. Is spelled correct. Now I'm gonna check the spellings and uh, wait. Ah, boy. It this always happens. Always happens when you code something and when when you're trying to record it, it gets stuck somewhere. Um, wait. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm missing something. It's something very minor. Wait, wait, don't tell me, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Display flex, right? Uh, display flex. Then we have justify content. Wait, flex start. Wait, flex start. Display f is display is flex right? I'm gonna uncomment this. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is um, what's the the um, hmm. okay, interesting. Wait. I mean, everything is written correctly, I feel. So, um, let's check the spellings, yeah.
Wow. What am I missing? Wait. Does that make sense? Wait, wait. Um, I feel like it's here. Um, display flex. All right, wait. Um, wait. Uh. Position. Boom. It goes to the right now, but I don't get it. Like, wait, how come it's on the right hand now? It moves to the right side. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uncomment this. Wait, wait, wait. I think I found. Wait. Um, okay. Wait. to something I'm gonna try something real quick I'm gonna comment this back and uh, I'm gonna switch this right here to end oh my god Oh my god, I was going mad. Uh, yeah, guys, you see, I, I had everything written down correctly, but I wrote something else instead. I never made an error, I just wrote a, dif a different code. Oh, finally, god, now let's remove these underlines and the color and the decoration and stuff, so. Sorry, I keep pressing the window button. The rotate A tag. Let's remove the text decoration. None. I'm gonna give it a black color. I'm gonna give it a font size of 0.80 RAM. With a text transform of capitalize. Let's save this bad baby and see what happens. Boom! There we go. I think we're done, but it's left the image of this handsome young lad. This one. So, uh. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the HTML and uncomment this line right here. And I'm gonna use this line as the image. I'm gonna, the source is gonna be image blackmail5. And if I save this right here, I'm gonna see this gentleman. So, um, okay, I'm gonna give it a class of cover. Now let's style it because we have everything figured out. I think almost, almost done. Sorry. <coughs> Dot cover image and uh, we're gonna give it a height of 570. So it's gonna fit slightly perfect. I'm gonna give it a position of absolute. I'm gonna give it a top of 11%, a right of, oops, right, 20%. And uh, if I see if this will happen, um, boom, nailed it. <laughs> Yeah.
All right, so last but not the least, right? Let's create an animation by using keyframes, guys. I'm gonna name my, my first animation drop. Oops. At zero percent, basically at the initial stage of the animation, nothing is going to be displayed. There's going to be opacity zero and the image is going to be hidden. I'm going to use transform translate Y. I'm going to use a negative value. So it's going to be top the Y axis from up to down. So it's going to be hidden negative um, 80% up out of our site and when the animation reaches 100 percent it's going to be visible to everyone so i'm going to change the opacity to one and it's going to be at the um, the original position of which it was before anything took place which is, i'm talking about the image itself so this is the first animation we've created and I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna create a second animation called slide. So we're gonna attach this animation to a different um, element. I'm gonna switch just the, the X to make it move from left to right and top to bottom. So on the, in the, uh, on the cover image, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna write animation, the name of the animation, drop, the time, the length, duration for 1.4 seconds is, and if I save this, boom. Let me, ref let me repeat, boom. That's what happens when I refresh. And now in the second animation is called slide. I'm gonna put this to um, intro text, perfect place. So it's gonna come from the left instead, not from the top. 0.6 seconds save boom it slides from the left the other one slides from the top so save this i think it looks okay so save um i mean that's 